Hello everybody. I got a lot of requests um, asking how I made my illusion costume. Um, so I finally got around to making a tutorial. So this is part one of the tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the legs, how I did the legs. Um, and then I'll make another video on how I did the torso and the arms. So um, materials. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Um, went down to Lowe's, picked up two 1 by 2 by 8 boards. They run about 90 cents a piece. Um, and then some bolts, some nuts, some washers, and some screws, and then some belts, which these I got at Goodwill for like a buck fifty a piece. Um, so let's get this taken apart. I'll show you how it works. Pretty simple. All right. So this is one leg. So first foot or bone is the foot. This is eight and a half inches. Um, and I drilled a hole here for the bolt and then cut those two edge pieces off. That'll come in handy a little bit later. I'll tell you why. Um, then I sanded it down. The shin bone, there's two of them. Um, these are 19 inches long and then I have holes drilled on either side. And then I got, well, let's flip that around. So this is going to be the ankle, or the heel. This will prevent awkward movement. So this is the foot, and this prevents the foot from moving unrealistically. That's going to be the same case for this up here. So this doesn't matter so much, the foot going too far up, because you get the shoe and the padding in there. It's not going to matter but I wanted it to move like a real foot. And then you got a little wiggle room in there. So I, don't, I didn't measure these, um, but that's why those are there. That's why they're so far apart, because I didn't want it just straight up and down. I wanted a little more, some more realistic movement in the foot. So there's these two, same thing, holes. Um, then this, this prevents the hyperextending your kneecap, basically. So this will stop. This will stop the movement from going backwards. And then this doesn't matter. You can bend it as far as you want this way, but you're gonna have padding and stuff there in the way, so it won't matter. Um, so these I just screwed in with these two guys. Um, same thing here, just a piece of the 1x2x8, just cut off, drilled in. Um, this piece, I noticed I really needed because um, the knee would lock up, the knee locked up, and if you bend forward and when you're wearing the costume, it'll lock up and you basically, you're going to impale yourself. So make sure this piece is here, this restricts the knee, so instead of locking up, it starts right about here, so you can't bend beyond that point. And then, so if you do hit it from this way, like your chest lands on it, you're pushing on it, the knee will just bend. So that's that piece is very important. Uh, this is the shin or the thigh bone. Sorry, it's 21 inches long. I'm about 5'11, so you'll have to change this depending on what size you want the fake body to be. Um, and then, same thing here, drill. A hole there, round the corner. Um, the belt, the belt we'll talk about in a second. Um, the harness. Um, so I'll show you how this goes together. Again, it's pretty easy. So you got your foot, that's the heel. So it goes in, bolt, washer, nut. Maybe. 
Are you sitting down? Alright, so there's your foot. And then your knee. Same thing. Full washer. Washer. Alright, same thing here. You got a little wiggle room. You don't want it too tight because if you have it's gonna be super robotic. I built this costume for strength, realism, um, and just to last forever because you know this isn't gonna fall apart anytime anytime soon, like some cheap costume I buy at the store. So there's the wiggle room, you got a little bit of movement there, you got your knee movement. And then that's where it stops. You can't lock the knee and it goes down like that. Alright, so next I will show how the harness fits. Alright, so here's the harness. Um, it consists of these cheapo belts that sometimes you get when you buy a pair of shorts or a pair of pants that just come with the belt. Um, I picked up these at Goodwill for buck fifty. The waist belt, <clears throat> this will tie somewhere like right above your belly button um, and you can adjust it. This is where the legs, this is so you can move the legs up or down if they're dragging on the ground. You know, you need to bring them up a little bit. You can hike this up. Um, so this, this is one full piece, this one belt, whole belt. So this is going to strap around your waist and then the buckle will buckle behind you. These two belt pieces attach to the top of the thigh bones, and I just use wood screws and washers just because I didn't want it to rip off or come off. Um, so the buckles are going to be in front on the chest, so you'll be able to access them and untie them or tie them, make it easier. Um, these two belts, and I'll show you a better angle, and I'll try it on in a second. Um, these two belts are when you wrap this belt around your waist, these are in the back, and then they cross over your back and then come straight down onto the shoulder. So it's gonna cross them back. And this will help take off some of the weight of the legs because you start padding this thing up, put the shoes on it, the pants. This thing's gonna get heavy, but between this belt and these two belts, it's not that bad. I, two years ago when I made this, um, I wore it for like two and a half hours and it wasn't a big problem. Like, it, it wasn't uncomfortable a little bit, but for two and a half hours and I was walking around the whole time, um, it wasn't too bad. So, <clears throat> I will show you a trial fit, show you how to put this on, and yeah, so here we go. All right, here is the leg harness. A um, Couple things I forgot to mention. Number one, how do you attach uh, these straps to the belt? It's easy, uh, just a small bolt with washers and a nut. So it's strong, it's not going anywhere, it's not going to fall apart when you're wearing it. Good deal. All right, uh, the other thing is uh, how do you attach the belt to the leg bones? Also pretty easy, uh, just wood screws and washers too. They're not going anywhere either. Real durable costume. All right, so this is where you adjust your height. Um, the legs dragging, you put it a little bit higher, but then you just wrap it around. Uh, you're gonna get really good at putting this on without looking at it. It's been a while, so I need some practice. There we go. All right. So that's on. Tighten it up a bit. Maybe. All right. So we'll take a spin. And look at that. So that just goes right there. These straps, it's my heater. These straps, um, so you got this one on the back that you bring across the back and over the left shoulder, just like that. Then you attach to this one. Then you got your other one. Make sure you don't twist it. <clears throat> Same thing. Across the back. 
down over the shoulder and into this one. Alright, there we go. It's not bad. Feels good. Barely feels like I'm wearing anything at all. Once you get the padding and stuff in there, it's going to feel a little bit heavier, but still not too bad. Got lots of support. Alright, so as far as realism goes, um, so the first time I did this, um, the stuffing for the legs was newspaper, duct tape, and cardboard boxes, rice and boxes, cereal boxes, um, to build up the shape. So you need to build up the shape of the leg. Um, the more work, more work and time you put into building the leg, the better it's going to look. Uh, it won't look like some big old stuffed body pillow as for legs. So if you want to avoid that, then take your time in wrapping and building the shape. You know, you want the shin, you don't want the calf muscle, all that. Um, and then for me, the first time, I, after I was done with all that and it looked pretty decent, I took a pair of yoga pants or stretch pants that I bought at Goodwill and just pulled them up over it real tight. Just held everything in, smoothed it all out, um, made a good skin layer to cover all the lumps, um, and then put the pants over that and it looked good. Um, so that's it for part one. Um, I'm going to do part two for the torso. It's a little bit easier. Um, I just wanted to get this video out. So in case any of you guys wanted to build it for this year. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. And uh, can't wait to see what you guys do with this costume.